Whether you believe in fasting or not, you really need to hear this. There is a story in the book of Matthew where a father brought his demon-possessed son to be healed by the disciples, but they were unable to cast out the demon. So Jesus himself healed the boy and drove the demon out. When the disciples asked Jesus, how come we were not able to cast out the demon? Jesus replied and said that it was because they had little faith and also because this type of demon does not go out except by prayer and fasting. But here is the scary part. Most modern Bibles have deliberately removed this verse. This verse that states, however, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting is Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. But many modern Bibles skip that verse and go from Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, right to chapter 17, verse 22. Check your Bibles and make sure that this important verse has not been removed. So I have two questions. Number one, why don't they want us to know the power of fasting? And number two, why are they so afraid of us fasting? I think the reason is this. God has given us many gifts, but two of the most important are prayer and fasting. Prayer is a way for us to talk to our Creator, and fasting is a weapon that the Creator has given us to use against evil. As we come close to the beginning of Lent, we are called to fast. Jesus himself said that this type of demon does not go out except by prayer and fasting. So it makes me realize the importance of fasting and how significant it is to our spiritual life. So knowing that piece of information, why is this verse purposely removed? And who is afraid of us knowing this information? Prayer and fasting have moved mountains in the history of our church. It's time to look at fasting as a gift rather than an obligation. I wish you all a blessed fast. If possible, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel as it would really help out a lot. Take care and God bless.